Like, um, like for strings, uh, a list is a sequence of elements, but in this case it's not a sequence of characters, but of elements, which means that um, we can, um, it can contain different kinds of uh, data types. Uh, usually of the same type, but it can contain also uh, different uh, data types inside the same list. To define a list, we use the square brackets and separate each element with a comma. Let's create a new file called lists.pi and in here let's copy the shebang from the previous um, video and uh, let's start by defining a um, simple list of numbers okay this is a list and it contains only numbers um, then we can do the same for with strings student or teacher and it can also contain booleans of course so I know that the types that we will study later during the course so um, as we said for strings and numbers um, we can assign this data type uh, to a variable so it can the variable can store its uh, content and let's define a job variable jobs variable and let's copy that excluding student that's not a job I guess um, okay now we got a variable that uh, stores inside uh, his body uh, the list uh, with three elements uh, developer brother and teacher we can uh, access each of this element in the list by uh, assigning its uh, the list to a variable and then uh, like we did with strings we can use the square brackets uh, and the index method in the same way we did for strings so let's see what I mean let's first access the first element in the list and we do it in the same way we did for the string and in this way we wrap it inside the print function so we can run the file and see its output uh, so we get the first element then we do a slice and the other way around and we can get part of this uh, of this list and then we can also use the index method like we did for strings and we need to wrap all these element inside a print function if we want to run the file and see something in the terminal okay if we now run this code we will get the result of all of these uh, five functions because we didn't uh, we did only define the lists here and here and we didn't print anything to the screen so we run the file and we got jobs is not defined uh, but we did so again okay uh, I didn't save the file make sure uh, every time you want to run the file to save the file otherwise uh, before running it otherwise uh, you can have a problems like I did in, in a second ago uh, so in the first line 
we see that we got only the first element in the list, which is uh, developer. Then we got two elements of the list, brother and teacher, which are these two, because I used slice method from the element number one, so this one, and I got the rest of the list. If this list was 10 elements long, I would get all the elements from this one till the end of the list. Then I got developer and writer, uh, so I got the number zero and the number one, excluding the number two. So this is what it does, excludes the number it, uh, it represents and gives all the, the elements in the list before it. So from number two, anything in front of it, uh, so number one and number zero, and I got developer and writer, and here the same thing happened. Uh, appeared um, so element zero and element one and in here I use the index method on the writer uh, element and I got as a result one which is the index of this element in the list so zero one and two writer is in position one and but we can also uh, of course add elements to the list uh, we can do a lot of more uh, with lists like uh, add elements and to use uh, to add elements we use the append method uh, and it add the element that we want uh, at the end of the list let's try that now so we do jobs dot append and then inside the parentheses we specify what kind of um, an object so what kind of element we want to pass to our list so we want to add uh, as I said we can add anything can be another data type or can be false uh, or a number but I'm gonna just add a, a new um, a new string like front and diner. and now if we print the jobs variable we will get the entire variable plus the element that we just wrote so you see this time my var my list con uh, my variable jobs contains at least with four elements including the last element that i have just added to it uh, we can insert um, we can also insert an element in a specific position of the list uh, the first argument um, is the index uh, where um, we will use the insert method and this, this method accepts um, two arguments. The first is the, an integer uh, which represents the index of the element where we want to, that we want to insert and then uh, the element that we want to insert. So if, if the integer, is, if the number that we pass, so the integer is a number greater than the entire length of our list the element will be placed at the end of the list so let's see what i mean so we use the insert method as you see the id suggests you uh, what you should pass so insert um, an index uh, which is a number i want to add an element at position zero of the list which is represented in this case by uh, the developer string and I want to add here another string and say SEO SEO and then we can print it and see if our uh, new element was successfully added in front of the list at the beginning and here we got it but we can also um, as i said uh, if we specify an index which is greater than the entire length of this string so in this case the, the list was uh, made of three elements so zero one and two uh, because as i said it's in it's zero based uh, so if I say 5, there is nothing in position 5 except in this case 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so if I say uh, 
um, 10, index 10, index 10 is clearly uh, not present in the list because we only have at this point five elements. Uh, so if I do jobs insert 10, so in position 10, uh, I want to add backend developer and I print again uh, jobs. Uh, we will see that the element was added successfully to our list and it's at the end of the list. As I said, we can do a lot of operations with lists and one of these is removing objects from elements from the list. Uh, so we can use to remove an element uh, the pop method and it removes the last element of the list if we don't specify anything inside the parentheses of the method. Otherwise, if we specify an index, it will remove the element in that position. So let's see what I mean jobs pop so the last element of my list was uh, the last one that I added so backend and uh, backend developer if I print the list now print you will see that I got this line so previously I had this list and the backend developer was the last element. Now, after running jobs pop, uh, I got only one, two, three, four, five elements in the list and the last one is no longer there. As I said, we can remove anything from the list by specifying its index. So if I want to remove zero, one, two, the element at index two, so brighter, I simply do it in the same way but in this time inside pop i specify uh, the index attribute so one and print again no in this case i said i want to remove writers of zero one and two i should say two and print jobs this time you will see that the writer element is no longer in the list um, we can use the remove method also to delete the first occurrence of an element inside the list. So we got teacher here. Uh, let's say we add again a teacher. And so jobs append teacher. So our jobs. Our jobs list jobs now has the same um, element teacher repeated twice one at position zero one and two and the other one is the, at, the, at the end of the list if we use the remove method now so and we don't uh, we, we do specify the value that we want to remove from the list. So in this case, we said teacher. And then we print it. You will see as a result. I misspelled, yes, teacher. Okay, you will see that teacher, uh, we previously we got teacher twice, so one at position 0, 1 and 2, and the other one was at the end. This time, since the remove uh, method removes the first occurrence of an element, it, will, it, it removes the first that it finds, so teacher at position 2, and it leaves the last one. So in this case, I go again, um, one, two, three, four elements and teacher is at the end. We can also do uh, another thing um, with lists. So you see that now S, D, F, T. So these are the initials of uh, each element in the list. We can sort the element in the list using the sort method. So 
we do it like that and we print it now you will see that our list is sorted um, in ascending order from uh, alphabetically so from the D F S and T then we can do another uh, operation and uh, we can clear the entire content of our list um, and we can do that in two different ways the first <clears throat> the first is simply uh, assigning to a to the jobs variable an empty list and that will do the trick so if we print jobs you will see that now we got an empty list which is this uh, two square brackets but we can also do it uh, using the clear method and that will do the same thing so if we comment this out we got still an empty uh, list what I mean when I say we comment this out any line of text inside our code inside our Python file um, that starts with an hashtag is recognized by the software as a comment so it's not included in the output and is ignored so you can safely uh, like say comment your code and say sort elements remove elements uh, that's part of the previous one and here we got the pop method and then we got the insert then we got okay pretty much fine all right now um, last thing that I want to show you is how we can uh, check if an element is in the list now let's uh, grab this list here create a new variable call it numbers and uh, assign to it this list of numbers and if we print it sure enough we got a list of numbers now let's say I want to verify if uh, 3 is in this list of numbers I can say 3 in numbers and wrap this inside the print function and if we run the code again we got as a result a boolean which says true and that means that it's true that 3 is in the numbers uh, variable that contains in this case a list the same thing is uh, we can do the same thing with strings and other uh, kind of um, data types but for strings in case you want to see how it works let's grab again let's grab this one and say jobs again it's fine and say student in jobs We run the code again we will get another true uh, value but this is case sensitive so if I type the same in lowercase I will get as a result false because student with um, lowercase uh, in lowercase is not present in the list there is a lot more you can do with strings numbers and lists uh, so make sure to check the documentation on the official Python website. Uh, the next thing that we will see 
are dictionaries and other data type of Python. See you later.